Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to give a quick explanation of bacterial genetic recombination, which includes transformation, transduction, and conjugation. So let's get started. It's important to understand what bacterial genetic recombination is. A basic definition is that it's the exchange of genetic material that results in a change of DNA of recipient organisms. This occurs by three main mechanisms transduction, conjugation, and transformation. Firstly, we have transformation, which occurs when bacteria pick up foreign DNA from the environment and incorporate it with its own DNA. So if you look at the picture below, you'll see that the donor cell releases DNA into the environment. This also includes an antibiotic resistance gene. This gene is now in the environment. The recipient cell is gonna pick up this foreign DNA, which is the antibiotic resistance gene, and it's gonna incorporate it into its own DNA, as you can see in the right side of the picture. Next, we have transduction, which is the transfer of genetic material using a bacteriophage. A bacteriophage is a virus that can parasitize bacteria and inject material into it. So if you look at the left side of this picture, you'll see that there's a donor cell that's been phage infected. The bacteriophage has some of the genetic information from the donor cell. It's gonna be released by the donor cell, and it's gonna transfer that genetic material from the donor cell to the recipient cell. Then, that viral DNA is going to be incorporated into the DNA of the recipient cell. Lastly, we have conjugation. In conjugation, two bacteria connect to one another by a conjugation bridge. The bridge requires appendages called sex pili, which further require plasmids called sex factors, the most studied of which is the F factor or the fertility factor in E. coli. In conjugation, we get the unidirectional transfer from the donor male to recipient female. The basic idea of conjugation is that the donor male will have an F plasmid, whereas the recipient at first does not. The donor mill will actually replicate its F factor and then donate it to the recipient. In order for the F plasmid to be donated, we need the conjugation bridge, which is formed from the pili. Once the recipient has the F plasmid, conjugation is complete, and that recipient can now act as a donor to other bacteria. I hope this video was helpful in explaining bacterial genetic recombination. If you have any questions I can help with, please leave them below. Thanks.